Okay, so yesterday we talked about um, kind of solving equations, right? So what does it mean when we are solving equations? To solve them. Yeah, for what? Uh, figure out the answer. Okay. Um, so it is set equal to a number, oh. not like y or f of x. Okay, so example, um, I don't know, x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, and we would just find... I don't even know if that would factor out, but we would just find either the roots. What are, were the other ones? The roots. Um, there were three things. Find your zero. The roots. Yeah, the zeros. Zeros. Let's spell that right. I can't spell it today. Zeros. Because oh. there might be more than one. There might not be any. Right? Zeros, and the last thing would be like our x intercept. Okay, um, when you have like two functions, so if you had like 2x and x minus 4 was one that we had yesterday, uh, is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 3. How would I solve this problem right here? What would I do? Well, you could like you could add, so you could take away two from the plus two x. No, you gotta put the two x. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Cody. Really good point. So there's two ways that we could solve this, right? So one, we could set it equal to zero, right? So we could put this on to this side over here and set it equal to zero and solve it that way. For sure. Or you could plot um, this is y1, and if this is y2, so 2, you could plot y1 and y2 and find the intersects. Okay, so in a nutshell, that's what we talked about yesterday with solving equations uh, like this. Okay, there's a couple ways that we can do it. Okay, uh, so we got to this problem here. Okay, so uh, Joe wants to create a dog run. He has 40 meters of fencing available. Okay, so perimeter is equal to 40. Right? He has 40 meters of fencing available. Uh, the run will be rectangular with one of the sides being his house. So we don't need any fence along this length. Um, if he wants to create an area of 200 square meters, what are our dimensions going to be to find that? Okay, so if we are finding, I like a different color for that. Okay, so we're finding what dimensions of that green box will give us an area of 200 meters squared. Okay, so first we're going to try to find uh, the dimensions using a guess and check. So we're just gonna make like a table and just kind of see how it would reflect, right? Based on the different dimensions, okay? Um, but before we do that, what are, or like what are the three um, like lengths that's going to add up to my perimeter? So, or, oh. Yeah, so my area is 200 square meters, my perimeter is 40 meters, yeah. but when I'm actually like building the fence, my perimeter is equal to two length plus width. Yeah. 
right? Because we don't need to enclose that side that it is attached to the house, right? Okay, so let's make a guess and check table. So we'll do perimeter, not perimeter, length is what I wanted to say. We'll do a column for width, and our last column will be for area. Okay, so where do we want to start? We just have to make sure that we have 40 meters of fencing, right? Yeah. So we could go, um, we could go, I don't know, 15, 15 length. Right? So 15, 15 is 30, so this would have to be a 10. 15 and 10. What else are the possible dimensions this could be? And remember, it always has to add up to 40. Uh, it could be... It could be... 16, 16, and 8. 16, 16, and 8? Sure. 16, 16, and 8, 32 plus 8, you bet. 16 and 8. Yeah, or it could be 14 and 12. Uh, yeah. yeah, it could be 14, 14, and 12, you bet. What else could it be? We could make it really long and really skinny, right? It could be 19, 19, and 2. What else could it be? 18 and 4. It could be 18 and 4, yeah. Um, it could be... It could be 20 and 0, just no, no, no fence, just a straight line. Just a straight line? No, 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 because we want the area, right? Yeah. But... We well, the could, area would be pretty easy to figure out. We could do 10, yeah, because it'd be like 0, right? <laughs> if it's just a fence. We could do 10, 10, and 20. That's 12. I know. <laughs> I know my brain is, is a little Come behind on, you're today. Come on, teacher. <laughs> okay, sometimes I just write the wrong. You know when you, yeah. like, when you, when you say something, yeah. but you write something else? Okay, so how do we calculate area? Length times width time, times two. Or length times width divided by two. Or length times width times height? Length times width. Or is that? That one, yeah, length, length times width, width right? Damn. The area is in here, right? So it's just going to be length times width. So let's find uh, the area in here. So 15 times 10, 150. 16 times 8 is 162. No, that's too much. Okay, never mind. 8 times 8 is 64. 64 times 2 is 128. Uh, 14 times 12. 140, 168. Can somebody check these maps too? Yeah, well. 19 times 2, that is 38. And Four. 10 times 20? Yeah, I think that one's 200. It is 200. I'll walk there one. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so, you know, we could do a table and do some guess and checks, right? Uh, that was kind of a lot of work though, wasn't it? I think it's like three minutes just to set up the table, right? Um, so yeah, so we're going to use uh, our quadratic skills to help us uh, solve these types of equations. Okay, so now we will use a quadratic equation to solve it, right? So we had, we know that area is equal to 200, right? Area is equal to 200, and you guys said, how do we calculate area? Length times width, absolutely. Now, if we wanted to solve this using a general formula, so we'll put our house in. So no fence. And that's going to be our yard, okay? So let's let L is equal to x, okay, so length 
is going to be x and x, right? So length is going to equal x, and then my width is going to be here, okay? And my width, um, remember, so we started at, so width is just going to equal 40 minus 2x, right? We had 40 meters of perimeter to build our fence. But if we're subtracting two x's from those, our lengths, right, uh, the width will be the perimeter minus those two side lengths, right? And that's how we'll calculate yeah. w here. Okay, so we know um, when we're doing this, we want to um, kind of substitute this so we only have one variable, right? Before we had length and width, two variables, we don't really like that, so we want to like arrange it. So we only have one variable, right? That's what we're doing here, okay? And now that we only have one variable, we can go back in and solve this. So area is equal to length, which is x. And my width is 40 minus 2x. So that is my new area formula, okay? What area in particular are we looking for? Yeah, 200, right? Good. So A is 200 is equal to X, 40 minus 2X. Okay? So now we are at this point. Who can remind me our two strategies to uh, solve something like this? Yeah, perfect. So one, we could set uh, equation zero. equal to zero for sure. And what was the second one? Find the intersects, right? Yeah, for sure. Find the intersects. But what am I going to plot? if I'm trying to find the intersects? Like, what am I gonna put into my graph? Um. Sorry? Uh, like, to make the graph? Yeah. 40? No. I don't know. Um. Oh. Um. Brody, what do you think? What do you think? Uh. What am I gonna, if I wanna find the intersects, what am I gonna find in the intersects of? Oh, yeah, X and Y. The X and Y, you're on the right track. So your vertex? Uh, not necessarily the vertex. What are, what's intersecting are these two lines right here. So this would be like our Y1 and this would be our Y2, right? So find intersects by graphing Y1 and Y2. Okay, so we can do uh, we can do both. So let's set this equal to uh, zero. So I'm just going to expand this first. So 200 is equal to 40x minus 2x squared. And then how am I going to set this equal to zero? I'm going to set this equal to zero, Cody. Uh, so you're going to have to take away 40. Okay. Oh, you want to go this way? Yeah. Okay. So minus 40x. Yeah. And what else? Uh, man, plus 2x squared. Cool. Okay, so then we get 2x squared minus 40x plus 200 is equal to zero, okay? So if I wanted to solve this. That'd be four. Oh, oh. Er, okay, but um, 
if you were solving it. So then you would graph this in your calculator, right? Yeah. But what would the solutions of this be? Like, what would I be looking for if I graphed it? Would I be finding the vertex? Yes, the intercepts. Which intercepts? The y-intercepts? Yeah. Yeah. The x-intercepts, right? Good. So then you would graph and find x-intercepts. Good. And then here you would just graph y1 and y2. So let's graph y1 and y2, okay? Yeah. We'll do that. So I'm just going to pull up the Desmos. Okay, so my y1 is going to be 200. Y equals 200. Yep. And then y2 is going to be my x and 40 minus 2x. Great. Uh, and make sure you put in, if you're using Desmos, y is equal to 200. Okay, so our solutions, so if we were graphing the, um, doing our intersects of the two lines, this is what we get. So we have a coordinate of 10 and 200. So what? What does that mean? 10 and 200. That your x is equal to 10. My x is equal to 10? Yeah. And what did we say our x was? Yeah, excellent. Great. So our length, so x equals 10. Therefore, length is equal to 10. And what is this right here? No. Nope. Also, your y intercept. Our, our this is the y coordinate of that, right? Yeah. But on the graph, what does that two hundred mean? A value. Uh, not a value. No. Y value then. The area. The oh, area, right? Area. Yeah. Okay. And then y equals ten. Therefore. Area equals 200. Okay, and then I'm just going to graph that one just for fun. So what do we have? 2x squared. Can somebody just read that off for me to be helpful? Yeah. The 200. 2x squared? 2x squared minus 40x. Yeah. Plus 200. Okay, so here is our other one, okay, and we have a 10 and a 0, okay, so the x-intercept on this one, oh, okay, so 10 and 0, okay, what does the 10 tell me again? The x-intercept, yeah, and in this case the x tells us what? We would put that, that's the length. That's the length, right? Okay. So, therefore, x equals 10, length equals 10. And so why do we have a 0 coordinate here and a 200 coordinate on the right side? You have two y-intercepts, but no, that doesn't make sense. No? Nope. You set your y to 0, right? Oh, when you're solving for x. Uh, yeah, so Emery got like really close with that. 
because we already set this one equal to zero, right? So this, um, this is when we are setting it equal. So we're finding the x-intercepts on this side, right? Because we have arranged these equations to equal to zero, right? So the zero, so the, the um, y-axis is like the new intersection points, okay? In the second part, the second way to solve that, um, we set our equation um, y1 was 200 and y2 was x multiplied by 40 minus 2x, right? Um, and when we graphed those, we found that intersection point because we set them equal to one another. In strategy one, we set this equation equal to zero. So that's, you know, y is equal to zero where? Oh, I thought you were saying the answer. Uh, x-axis, right? Yeah. Y is zero, zero at the x-axis, yeah. okay? Okay. So, when you are asked to solve a quadratic equation, this means you're looking for the x-intercepts, or the zeros, or the roots. Okay? And that's just if you have it equal to zero, right? Yeah. So if it's equal to zero, you're going to be finding the roots or the x-intercepts. Um, on a graph, if you ask to solve it, um, you're looking for these points here, right? Because uh, this function, what is it? It's moved to the left, so it'd be like x plus, I don't know, 2, say? and it's gone down to, okay? So that's what this function is going to look like, right? Um, and it is set equal to zero, right? So we're asked, when does this equation equal zero? And those are going to be at our zeros or roots or x-intercepts, right? Questions about this? I didn't get the top two. Yeah. X-intercepts, roots, or zeros. So that's when we're solving something uh, equal to zero. If we have two functions or two equations that are like set equal to one another, mm -hmm. um, that's when we would be like finding the intersection points. Okay? All right. And that's it.